Hello everybody, it's a Vertical Sandwich, welcome back to Let's Play Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, and we're going to do the second car list. So, uh, this one should be pretty brief, we've kind of got the uh, pattern of what we do down. Um, I missed, uh, obviously this is post-commentary. The first car we're going to get is the Ballista Compact, and it actually is in the airport. I'm going to show you how to, obviously we, we've learned to fly so we can drive into the airport. I'm going to show you how to get it out without going through the gate though, just in case you want to do this before you learn to fly. Um... Which is actually kind of fun. But, uh, obviously, this is post-commentary, and uh, I forgot to show turning in one of the vehicles, but you'll live. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll live very except that guy. I knew you would. I knew you wouldn't be. You guys aren't too picky. All right, so the Ballista Compact is right here. It's uh, parked next to this, like, radar station in the corner of the airport. I'll sh I, I show you where pretty much everything is on the map. So... This is a little easier. There's a little less running around for this one uh, than there is for the previous list. Uh, we don't have to go to Los Santos quite as often. I think we only have to go once. So what I ended up doing was uh, I actually thought this was the way out because, you know, I'm not smart. But uh, then what I realized is that we could use the ramp that's ahead of us to, uh, to jump this thing out. I like that. That was fun. That was, I really thought I was going to drop down onto the uh, the path out, but it didn't work that way. And this is messy. This ends up being really messy. And that was a pretty good run at it. I actually probably could have taken that jump there, and uh, I think I can give it two more tries here. Before I actually take the jump. But we're, at, we're, we're just going to jump the river with this thing. Ballista Compact is a reasonably quick car in the game. It's not one of the, you know, the, the, the muscle cars uh, and, like, sports cars like the Comet and the Cheetah and stuff. Those are, those are faster, but. All right. So this is the run that's going to take us to the jump. And that was a bad jump. I mean, we hit that real real awkward. Uh, if you hit it straight on, you'd probably get a better. And we barely made it. I mean. And, you know, thank goodness for the hill that got us to roll back onto our wheels. Otherwise, we would have been in trouble. So there we go. We'll get that mailed off. I don't know what we're going to do uh, after this. I've got some ideas, but there's a lot of busy work that we still have left. Like, we have boat school and bike school and horseshoes and oysters and all kinds of stuff we can do. Um, so over here by these baseball fields, um, there is a saber parked in the parking lot. So that's easy enough. It's actually, you know, it, that's a really brief drive back to the dock. So here we go. We'll mail that off. There aren't a lot, like I said, there aren't a lot that are going to be really, really far away. Um, and we'll be doing those last anyway, so. So, there we go. That's two down. And I mean, we're really going to start flying through them now. And then over here, um, I ran into uh, a stallion. The stallion actually doesn't have a standard spawn point. Uh, they're just a really common car, so you're just going to have to find one. But I found this one, uh, on my way to another car. So they are one of the, the more common cars in the game. Sometimes they'll actually spawn right in front of, uh, your garage in San Piero, so. Like I said, they just don't spawn anywhere that they park. Okay, and then down at the golf course here is one of my favorite cars. Well, it was one of my favorite cars in Vice City. I don't really, you know, haven't really used it a lot in San Andreas, but the Comet is parked here, so. That's a fun little sporty car. This actually did not take us very long. It took a lot of videos because, you know, I mean, I made a little video for every acquisition of every car and every, like, 
exporting of every car. So, and that's always kind of a pain, so. So, there we go. Okay, and now uh, at our save house here at this hotel, um, parked right out front is uh, one of the harder cars to find just spawning. So, it's good to know about this. It's the Stafford. All right. So there we go. Now that one's gone. Hooray! Hooray for things being gone. Oh, no. All right. <coughs> and then in... Uh, uh, Los Santos, there is um, this shop here uh, right off of this um, I don't know this cul-de-sac that has a slam van. This is the uh, the slam van is really hard to find otherwise. You really have to, I mean this is the one you gotta get and like getting it back can be a real problem. It actually took me three tries and look at this, this happened during the course of of me like I, I don't know, I flipped the car, I got out of it and like I came back out of and like it was floating. It was awesome. All right, so here we go, d delivering the slam van. All right, and we really beat the crap out of that thing. But what do you expect? We had to drive it all the way across the map. I guess we could have taken it to a paint and spray, but we didn't. All right, and then across from boat school here, in the um, there's a, I don't know, a semi, and they're called like haulers or something. I don't. Parked next to this little diner, just right across the bay from boat school. Pretty easy to find. You can find them driving around all. Oh, tanker. You can find them driving around all over the place up here. It's not a. See, look. I mean, there's two of them ahead of us. And then we're gonna go buy uh, a property that's up by here. Uh, in this little town. We'll get that taken care of. We actually get, I think, all... Um, we'll have all properties done by the end of this video. Alright, and so um, this is uh, Las Venturas in the north, just north of our safe house. Uh, a cheetah spawns in a driveway. And now this is a fast car. This is like... A fun piece of equipment. So that's good to know, anyway. So then, uh, we will have... Um, I did buy a property that I forgot to show, and I did, um, like I said, I forgot to export one of the vehicles or show that. So we'll talk about those, and I don't know, you'll just have to... You'll just have to imagine I showed it. And look what the cheat is worth. I mean, like, that's... And that's probably pretty close to perfect condition. I mean, that's that's a good amount for the car. And so this is us mailing the tanker. And the reason, like, this happened after the Cheetah was because I actually had a tanker parked at my garage in San Fierro uh, already because they're just a fun vehicle to, like, mess around in. So I actually just abandoned the tanker that you saw after I bought that property and went and got the Cheetah. So, makes sense, right? Yeah, vertical sandwich makes perfect sense. And here I forgot to unhook the, the magnet. That's a lot of fun. There we go. And that's why that one's in pretty good shape. Because, you know, we couldn't... Uh... Alright. So, out here... um, And this is just a little east of where we got the... Um, the question mark missions, uh, there are ranchers parked in several spawn points out here. But this is the one that, uh, I ended up taking. And this, that's the vehicle I forgot to show, and this is the property I forgot to show me buying. Is, this is on the, like, the west, or the east side of Las Venturas. And it's just like a hotel suite. And so now, uh, there should actually only be, um... One vehicle left. 
And it's actually just a little, uh, the pizza restaurant you can see in the right hand, or like right, just north of us. Uh, it's just next to that. And it's the motorcycle. It's whatever stupid motorcycle they wanted us to get. And I didn't mean to hit that thing. I really didn't. I was, that was not what I was going for. I should have ran it right into the interstate. There's a lot of stuff I cut out of here. Like, I caused some pretty crazy pileups and stuff on the interstate. And then uh, blew up a bunch of stuff and got huge wanted levels. And then had to, like, start my game over. And, and I, I recorded some of that. But it just wasn't very interesting. So yeah, so here's the pizza restaurant, and this is our last vehicle. The FCR 900. And there we go. So you'll just have to pretend we mailed the tanker, or we exported the tanker. Not the tanker, the uh, rancher. And uh, that's it. And then we'll show this, and again, when we come back, we will be doing something that is not quite as tedious. Something that is a little live action-y. Although I haven't played this game in a, a while, I've been just recording... Like, I've been processing videos and just not playing the game and, like, playing other games. So, like, I'll probably be pretty rusty. It'll be fun. And so, logically, this should do it. This should end our list. There we go. All right, everybody. So, uh, now we'll take a look at what we've got as far as uh, vehicles we can import. And we'll get a good look at the third list, which is the last list, uh, which we'll be doing later. So, and there we go. And it's a bunch of crazy stuff I've never heard of, so it'll be fun. Um, and you guys, uh, yeah, again, we'll, we're going to take a look at the kind of things that we can import. Uh, to see if we can kind of identify the things that aren't necessarily things we, we've already stolen. Yeah, the, chori the Turismo is, like, the the new thing that we earned for going through that. But now we can import a Slam Van if we want one. Um, or a Cheetah, which is kind of cool. So, you guys take care. Thanks for watching. Uh, and bye, everybody.